Mira, 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 mira. Mi gente, volvimos. Volvimos, coño. Volvimos, coño. How are we looking? How are we looking? Super light skin, that's how we looking. Let's 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 look a little more bronze. Man, I look so light, man. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God that I'm gonna get a tan one of these days. Devonda has been begging me for years to get a tan. Pero, mi gente, look. We're here today. We are here today to do a waivers cut, waiver stand up. All my waivers, all my waivers. We got a waiver in the freaking building. Vamos a, a recortar un waiver. I forgot how to say a waiver in Spanish. For those that speak Spanish, may you please bless me in the comment section. Déjame saber cómo se dice waiver. Olero. No, that ain't it. That ain't it. So my client's been in the wave game for quite a while. And um, he likes to keep the... He enjoys having waves. But like him, there are a lot of people in the wave community that don't want to deal with with, with the, the the responsibility that comes with being a waiver. Look, I've been there. I know what it takes to get, you know, defined, really defined waves. And, and, and overall, if you want some really, really defined waves, you're gonna have to woof. And if you think that a one and a half, which is what he wanted, is gonna get you any closer to that goal, it's not gonna happen, dog. I'm just letting you know. And I let him know, hey man, este, mira, this is my waiver's prescription to you. Wolf for about a month and a half. Wolf, just, let's just let's just get it. Let's just stretch that hair out. Let's lay it down, stretch it out, get some definition, develop it, you know, improve the pattern, and then from there we'll cut it down, and then you wolf again, and cut it down, and wolf again. I mean, there's different ways to go about it, but that's the gist of it, ¿me entiende? And so I told him all this, and still, guys, still, come here, look, you, <laughs> hey, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Still, he still wanted to cut it down to one and a half, so mira, at that point, I did what I did. I try to warn you, I think, no, <laughs> I know, keeping it longer, darker, is gonna look better. But at the end, my fellow barbers, you gotta give them what they want. Okay, we're getting started here. I got my comb and you wanna make sure you comb the hair out. I'm not a fan of stretching the, or not stretching, but lifting. I'm not a fan of lifting the hair out with a brush. I feel like a brush will frizz the hell out of the waves and you don't want that. Trust me, I've been there before. I'm a victim of somebody brushing my waves and just fluffing that thing up. You don't want that. And so make sure you use the comb. And I have the number two Oster detachable blade that I'm using to cut it down. And I'm using the number two instead of a one and a half because the, the measurements on detachable blades are different from the measurements on a plastic guard. I'm not running it straight through the, the hair like I said previously. Uh, I stop it at a certain point and now we're gonna go against the grain. Now, like now Fonz, come on. And racata, mira eso. So as you can see, uh, the middle of that head, the hair's going already in, in two different directions. And look, at this point too, I wanna mention it. The, the, the tricky, not, I wanna say it's tricky. It's more like the unfortunate part of going this low on waves in most cases that it's that you don't, it's not dark. So the length of his hair is so short right now to where you can see, like you can see the skin, you can see the scalp. And I think it just takes away from what makes waves unique. Like when you woof to a certain point, you just, you're able to show more details. I don't want to veer off too much. Uh, so right now I'm using the one and a half against the grain. I'm, I'm just trying to tighten up that area. So when we come with the trimmers and the blade, it's going to be crispy. So just keep that in mind. Uh, shout out to JP. JP always taught me to uh, use a higher guard around the crown. And uh, you know, I, 
I'm using a three just to play it safe. I think I still brought it down to like a two against the grain. Did I, did I do it? Did I do it? Uh, no, I played it super safe. I just came back with the shears. So yeah, just I just used a higher guard around the crown because sometimes dealing with crowns can be a pain in the ass, boy. And 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 if you really don't want to risk it going against the grain, it's okay. Come back with a higher guard and you'll get it done. 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 But anyway, we're going for a high taper on him. Well. Lower in the back because he has that that dent, that crease at the E, and in once you you're coming and dealing with that, um, it, it can become a little challenging when it comes to the fade. So lower in the back, a bit higher in the, on the sides, and I think I should have gone higher than that on the sides to be honest. But it's still enough to to give to give out a great effect. I'm a huge fan of high tapers on the sides for for waivers. I know that there are a lot of waivers out there that don't like high tapers because they feel like they're losing uh, a bit too much of the pattern on the side, but man, it looks crispy. I'm just saying, it looks fresh. I think it's a great pick in most cases. I actually been cutting a lot of waivers lately. Not cutting, but not only cutting, but like recording. And man, look, we got we got some in the chamber, guys. So make sure you, mira, mientras estamos aquí, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Let's uh let's get at least a thousand likes on this video. We, we on the ground right now, we gotta get we gotta get back on growing this channel. I actually, uh, you know, I never, I never did a 100K video, but I'll, 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 I'm for sure doing a 500K video. I'm not saying I'm not grateful for those that, that, that been following me, been down with this channel. Mira, tamo aquí, tamo aquí, okay? One more time, racata, mira, we out here, okay? And I'm not giving up, y'all. Y'all ain't giving up on me, so I'm not giving up on y'all. We, we're pushing this channel heavy, okay? Shout outs to all the OG subscribers. Shout outs to the new subscribers. If you wanna be a, 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 uh, future subscriber, go ahead and hit that, that subscribe button. Okay, don't play, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Well, I'm, 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 I'm gonna stay here till you subscribe. Dale. Jay Hens finna drop the bass. Okay, mi gente, estamos aquí, and we are brushing off and clearing out this area. Looks like I created a, a freaking eye symbol for this taper. Pero este, you know, we have been fading down all the way up to this point, and now we are meeting it in the middle. And I like this method because there's times that when you are just cutting, when you're just going through the clients and you're not thinking about your, your, your method or your, um, when you're not thinking about what you're doing when you cut and you're just going on autopilot and you don't have a system you might go a little bit higher than you mean to and you know that could really create some issues some tension i mean some problems for with your client for sure if that's not what they want and you don't want that so um i've been trying a few different techniques in the past i would just start from the from the bottom of the fade and meet it up i, I think it's necessary to start exploring different ways different techniques to improve because otherwise man a lot of things go downhill after that like if you don't search for these different ways i've come to find out that you stagnate and you get left behind and um barbering just becomes so monotonous you know boring and it's unfulfilling i think in my opinion uh learning or or pushing myself to do these videos for you guys and to just push myself to to be more consistent is helping me and, and before doing this it's been it's been tough you know barbering for me it's had so it's at i've had so many ups and downs with barbering um and and uh there's times i i think about like if i would have 
just focused on barbering and didn't jump into YouTube so fast if I would have been better. But at the same time, I don't regret it. And I ain't trying to say I don't want to be doing YouTube. Believe me, I'm doing YouTube no matter what. I don't even see how people can do this or consider it as a side gig. Like barbering really is a very rewarding field to be in. I hope you understand that. Like if you ever, if you're a barber and you so happen to think this might not be for me. Este mi gente, or señor, or señorita. Uh, all I got to say is something's wrong. All right. And you need to, you need to step back and figure out what is wrong. Is it on you? I mean, nine times out of 10 or 10 times, honestly, 10 times out of 10, I put it on me. Like whatever's going on, I have to do my best to, to make sure that I'm giving it my best. Like in most cases, people say they try, they don't. I, and I'm, I'm guilty of that. So make sure that if you are not liking what you're doing, step back, take a step back and figure out, is it really what I think it is? Or is it more on me? And, and because it's me, that means I could fix it. That means I could do something about it. Otherwise, you're really not going to like this field. Like, you know, this field already has its ups and downs and your attitude on it. If it's not the right attitude, if you're not doing your best to level up, to, to increase your knowledge, your skill set, it's it's not going to be a rewarding field to be in, I promise you. I promise you. And I've seen it. I've seen it over and over again. People get into it and because they're not fully committed, because they're not coming in first one in, last one out, they're not willing to put the hours in and they don't get the reward. So make sure that you do everything in your power to improve your situation by you know, working the long hours that you, that you should be working to increase your clientele, um, leveling up, watching videos, reading up on products and skills and seeing who who are the barbers that are are giving out the best knowledge. Shout out to Tune 45. Just want to put it out there. Do, do your best. Just do your best. Don't just come in, cut a few heads and be done. Like go home. And study. This is a good. I'm gonna give y'all a nugget. I want y'all to do this. I'm gonna I'm challenge all of y'all to record your cuts, right? And look at the cut. Look at what you did, and see how you can improve it. I promise you, you'll see things that you never noticed before. Because when you're on autopilot, you just go at it at the best you can. You you know you step back, you check your mirror. But I'm telling you, when you record it and you study it. You're going to notice things that you you're going to notice things that you can easily improve. And I'm telling you, it's it's like it's like playing football and looking at all the flaws in all the games that you played. Like you, you're just going to get better from watching it. So give yourself the opportunity is basically what I'm trying to tell you. Give yourself the opportunity to improve by getting out of your own way. That's for sure. And study your own moves, study your skills and be honest with yourself i just gotta admit to myself that look you might suck at this area but it's okay to suck it's okay to not be good for for a season as long as you know you're not good at it and you're willing to improve it mira está bien está bien you could go for it give yourself permission to get better how about that huh
que mi gente, mira, estamos aquí, listo. We are edging him up. I started with the left side. No, wait, my left, my left, his right. And I started with the vertical bar and I went ahead to the other side to do the vertical bar on that side. You, you do it on one side and then the other side and then you start on the corners if you want. I tend to go with the, the lower side and from there, meet it. It's a little confusing to explain. I need to get better at this. <laughs> but the middle, the middle is really where it's, it's a bit of a, I want to say struggle, but if you're noticing that your client has a widow's peak like he did and he's a little lighter on the sides that means that it's going a little bit more inward and if you want a straight line that means you got to push him back a little bit and in this case i had to i had to do it a little bit i had to give him a bit of a pushback you're gonna see a little bit of the white wall on the middle side but it was just right to make it look more symmetrical in my opinion no se ve mal Look, look, just because this is what it is right now doesn't mean it's going to be the way it is forever. Tu sabes por qué? Because I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna push for him to woof. You gonna catch this wolf. One of these days you gonna catch this wolf and I'll be there ready to guide you down that lane. I don't want you to go down the lane I went. Nobody should do that. But I do want you to dip on them. I want you to dip on them. Anyways guys, look, mira. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to do it there. Rakata that like button. Rakata that subscribe button. And make sure you share this video because we growing, baby. We ain't stopping. We ain't stop. Jay Hiz finna drop the f-